It's been a very long time. Apologies. I'm busy. My daughters were <laughs> born literally through while this thing was going on. Anyway, so as you can see, nearly full grown adults. Anyway, so Operation Sea Lion. I have to thank the amazing work of Mr. Bob Mottram here. Bob Mottram and I collaborated back in the day on my ape simulation. And he's come in and really done some amazing work associated with the maps. So, Bob is, you know, let's just have a look at the, <laughs> the commitment tree more than anything. Bob has been working on this thing absolutely tirelessly. And really, this project wouldn't exist now if it weren't for Bob. So, basically, this is associated with map analysis, creating JSON files. I've done a little bit of work. There's a little bit of work associated with actually making sure these map files you know work in json so changing them moving in you know start with that json's not working particularly well let's just get the map working so as you can see how do i navigate out of this from this to this well let's have a look at this so Can we step up? Can we step up? I probably should have planned this out. Anyway, so map out, which is a, you can find from my uh, your GitLab repositories. Um, map out has basically been the area that Bob's been putting most of his work in. And this, um, I've saved off some of these things because it's just, sufficiently worth capturing at some stage uh, map blend is where I've got them so this is another directory and I've stored both test examples and the original files these are the original files from University of not University of Scotland uh, Library of Scotland perhaps anyway so the test examples from this uh, that I've had most interest in so here we have Greenwich I picked out someone asked me to do a, a zoom in on Greenwich and Bob's um, identification of Greenwich buildings for example here we go so we managed to get some uh, relatively interesting artwork out of it what we still could so these are the individual buildings of the Greenwich map obviously the text is also translated so we have to everything is post-processing but so that's Greenwich, um, and this is for John Roger, the legendary YouTuber, John Roger, uh, just picking a piece of, uh, of London that he wanted, Romford to Wanstead Heath. Uh, this is his hackney, this is roaming, his standard roaming area. Um, and I wanted to make that into something that was pretty nice looking too. We've now moved beyond this stage though, so that's individual buildings in what we're calling Rogersville. So if we go back to map out and look at what we're actually dealing with. Originally I talked about two towns that we were going to model and went back in and made sure, so Folkestone and Ashford, made sure that we had Folkestone map and then this may not load unfortunately because it's a, a big single line file. We have the JPEG of that map loading a single file yeah so here we have as json sorry the json of the map not the jpeg we have a png and a json file so this is ensuring that we now have a format in the json let's loop back pull six page okay and that way we can back here and Ashford and Folkestone is the Ashford map and then we have a JPEG sorry a JSON welcome to Sunday morning a JSON file associated with that specific map now next stages now with this format and this format is quite complicated actually uh, Bob really was just looking to get a format as close to what the map specification was rather than the level of detail that we actually needed. Let's wear it. 
complains bitterly, trying to render a single line. Yes. Now we want to exit. We have to go back to. So, we have the maps of Ashford and Folkestone ready. And we need to take these maps and put them into Urban. Now, here we are. Urban has an existing JSON format, which is very different to the format that um, mm -hmm. Bob was working with. Apologies for the phone. So we are working next, working on Urban to actually absorb Bob's format. And ideally, there'll be some to and fro between Bob and I associated with actually simplifying the format down. Because the format as it is currently is um, very much designed around... Here we go. Let's pick up the format. Open recent and acid. Okay. So here's the format as it is currently. With a lot of... Um, it really gets quite complicated towards the end, I think, when it's dealing with buildings and things. And then divides them up into smaller units and things like that. So this kind of JSON ideally is not the kind of JSON that the urban will end up reading. There'll be an additional two or three iterations of simplification on this JSON format. And then we've got to take the entire series of maps. Now, if you haven't seen this previously, basically, uh, I think I showed it in the last video. But we're really dealing with lots and lots and lots of map related data so we want this to we want this to this should render hopefully yep so we want this to cover all of london and basically the coastline on the southeast uh so we're covering the southeastern coastline up to and in fact just above just a little bit more of london so this is the whole area that the map file needs to be able to deal with. And there's a lot of additional work that I put into caching and different ways of parsing JSON and then getting the data in the fastest accessible means. And we're sticking to that. We, I kind of <laughs> decided that we are maintaining uh, JSON uh, integer caching from the original code and the file format needs to be around that. So the files that are available in uh, map out are actually files that are closer to the format than the stuff that Bob is outputting. Only a couple of minor changes between what Bob is outputting from the maps and what I have um, in these files. But these files are all readable by the APSDK with the integer changes so these JSON files and moreover I've actually put them in the APSDK which means that if anything if anything associated with a file format breaks then we'll have APSDK around it so for example this is hard to find but in the test directory if you find last updated oh, I kind of don't doing that maybe anyway eh, they're not really doing that at all okay so there should be two news. Uh, where are they? Two news. Here are new Folkestone, new Ashford. So these are basically always being compared with the APSDK so the APSDK doesn't break for these file formats. So that I think is the update. It's been quite a bit of progress. Not quite as many visuals, although the, the funky kind of each building has its own color. Graphics are illustrative halfway through. But yeah, I think this is the update for however many months it's been. Nearly a year since the last update. But this is the progress so far. So please feel free to reach out to me, Barbele, which is my last name, at gmail.com. Uh, and I'll try to update the website as much as possible with this new information. Tom Barbele in Las Vegas, Nevada, signing out.